Hello everybody, this is Tim here again, here with my final Leprechaun review. Thank God. <laughs> it's just, you know, every time I review a movie franchise, once I get towards the end, if there are, I'm just glad to be finished with them and move on to a different character or a different franchise. But anyway, just start off, this is the WWE Leprechaun uh, pre-cum, pre-boot, whatever you want to call it. This movie might as well not even be called Leprechaun. The creature in it is nothing like the Leprechaun from the other films and is nothing like a Leprechaun, period. He's more of like a little golem or troll or whatever. And this guy is played by Hornswoggle from WWE. He could have been played by anybody. I don't even know why they even casted one of the wrestlers in it. This could have been anybody. It made no difference. I guess it was like a marketing thing. I guess. I don't know. It would have made no difference whatsoever who played this character. No difference. Uh, just jump into this film. I give this film a half a star. For a low-budget B-movie, I give it a half a star. This movie is played deadly seriously, which is a huge mistake. But at the same time, it didn't bother me too much because this is not a leprechaun in this film. If this had been the regular leprechaun character and it had been played super seriously or a similar character to the Warwick Davis leprechaun, it had been still been played super seriously, I would have hated this movie even more because then it would have felt like you need to put more comedy in it and have more fun with it. But this creature in here is not the Warwick Davis leprechaun by far. He has no personality, nothing. All he does is grunt and occasionally make growl sounds and... Uh, he sees everything in Predator rip-off vision. They give him, like, body... He can see people's body heat, like the Predator. They give him, like, a rip-off Predator vision, which is so shameless and stupid and horrible. But, uh, they do that. That sucks. But, yeah, the, the Leprechaun in this film is a joke. Uh, just start off, the actors in this film, I don't... I only recognize two. They got the guy that played the sheriff in Freddy vs. Jason, and I also think he did the voice of Optimus... Primal or whatever on Beast Wars, which is a show I liked uh, and still like. Uh, and you got Brandon Fletcher, I believe is his name, who was also in Freddy vs. Jason, um, who played the character of Mark, I believe. I like him. He's all right. I would have liked it better if he, if he was the lead, really. Um, basically, you got two couples in this movie. You got Brandon Fletcher and his girlfriend, and they're kind of obnoxious, and they're like just obsessed with sex. Uh, but after... A, I didn't like Brandon Fletcher's character at first at all, but after a while I kind of started to warm up to him later on because him and the main girl, the black-haired girl, are the only two who aren't cowards in the movie and the only two who try to help people. Other than them two, everybody, uh, the other two characters uh, and everybody else in the movie are all just like assholes and worthless, so there's really no point in them. Other than like this, uh, uh, like this old farmer's guy's son or whatever in the movie, basically the townspeople in the, in the area in Ireland are sacrificing tourists to the leprechaun because they took some of his gold a long time ago and in order to make penance with it they have to make sacrifices of people to the leprechaun I don't fucking get that why don't they just give him um, the amount of gold that they took from him or the amount of jewels or something that they took from him uh, I don't get that that they gotta give the leprechaun like people food or human beings or whatever I don't fucking get that um, but anyway, so the townspeople are, like, tricking these, uh, there's two couples, like I said, there's Brandon Fletcher and his horny woman, they're both really horny, and then there's these other two, the main girl, this black-haired girl, and her man, um, and basically, the, the people in the town trick them into going to this cabin, uh, cause they tell them that, cause one of the main girl's like a history buff, and she wants to learn more about the area, and they tell her that she can go there and stay the night in the cabin and then hike. Uh, for seven hours to get to these uh, druid stones or Celtic stones or whatever um, and study them. Uh, so automatically Brandon Fletcher is like, he's like, come on guys, let's do it. Because he wants to fuck his girlfriend at the cabin basically. So to him walking uh, a seven hour walk is worth getting a piece of ass for the night, I guess. I, whatever. But, uh, anyway, well, she's probably pretty good in bed, so you never know. But anyway, so Brandon Fletcher, of course, he's super horny, and he's kind of a smartass, too. The, the characters kind of, like, make fun of the surroundings of the town and stuff, so you don't really give a shit about them getting killed at the same time, except for, like, the black-haired girl and Brandon Fletcher later on. But anyway, so they go to stay at the place. Uh, one thing I find funny is they get so many warning signs that these townspeople are not to be trusted. Like the guy that's driving them there is the, the main guy, like the main town's guy's son or whatever. And uh, he keeps like looking at him like, 
like real creepy. And the guy who uh, is like uh, the guy from Freddy vs. Jason, he played the sheriff from Freddy vs. Jason. Uh, he's like a, he's a, got a gold watch on, Rolex, I mean, and, but he's talking about how uh, everybody in the town's really poor and shit. And uh, they the kids look directly at the Rolex. <laughs> and he's like, oh, yeah, uh, a, a kind tourist gave this to me. Um, there's so many warning signs here, and once they get him, then, uh, fuck me sideways, I will never forgive the movie for this. Once they actually get him to the cabin, the leprechaun's like out in the weeds and starting to come towards him, and the the, t the leader of the townspeople and his son walk out there with guns and shoot at it, and it runs off. It's like this really intense scene, and all the kids, the teenagers are like looking over there, the current main characters are, and they're like freaked out, and then he just turns around and goes, oh, it was just, it was just a, a wild killer boar. There's a lot of killer animals in this area. Uh, enjoy your stay, and they're like, oh, okay, they just go in, I'm like, how fucking stupid can you be, movies like Cabin in the Woods, and uh, shit like Scream, they parody, like, horror movie glitches and cliches, uh, like, where somebody goes and investigates a noise, or they get so many, like, obvious scenes where people are up to no good, and you can easily tell, but you yet you trust them anyway, the, this movie right here is the kind of horror movie that those movies parody, and I can totally see it here. This is fucking stupid as hell. These characters are dumb as shit. <laughs> Once they get in there, like the main town guy, he's like, uh, <laughs> he says something like, uh, oh, no, 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 Brandon Fletcher looks at him, and he goes, um, you're not gonna get my watch, or good thing I don't have a Rolex, or something like that, and the main town guy is like, uh, is like, well, your watch ain't the only thing I can steal from you. And I'm like, okay, what at the fuck ever? But anyway, so they end up staying there because they're stupid as shit. And the son of the main guy is like, the, the guy who runs the town basically pretty much, like his son keeps saying, why do we keep sacrificing people to the left town? Why don't we just leave? And the guy's like, you never abandon your home, son. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay, good. That makes so much sense, movie. I'd rather stay and live in a place and hope that tourists randomly show up at the right time so I can trick them into going to a cabin or try to and sacrifice them to a leprechaun instead of just moving a little farther away. Not to mention, these are just leprechauns. And this the leprechaun this has no magical powers whatsoever. No magical powers. He's just a, a creature. He's just a flesh and blood creature. So why don't the townspeople just get together with a bunch of shotguns, just go up into the hills, get some fucking fire, and just blow the fuck out of it? I don't get that. That's a whole town versus what? A leprechaun? Or maybe two or three leprechauns? They could blow these motherfuckers away! But anyway, whatever. Fuck you, movie. In this film, the leprechaun is attracted to gold. Instead of going after people who steal his gold, like you, uh, like when they put the people there to sacrifice them, the the town guy, the guy in the in the town leaves his gold gold Rolex out there hanging, so it'll attract the leprechaun there. So the leprechaun's attracted to gold, so I'm like, why don't they just booby trap a house, put a piece of gold in it, let the leprechaun come in, blow it up, presto, change old leprechaun's dead, end the fucking story. The townspeople could do that in five seconds, but no. They would rather go through this big elaborate scam of sentencing people to their death, which makes no fucking sense. But anyway, um, so they, the kids are all in there. The, the son of the main guy, he keeps saying, or the son of the main town guy, he keeps saying, this is stupid, this is wrong. Obviously it is. Uh, he don't want no part of this shit. <laughs> fucking, um, the, all the kids are in there. Uh, and then you get the, the the hot black haired girl, the like the main girl. She's like standing there in her bra and panties, and her boyfriend, who we're supposed to see as like an asshole, who does not doesn't even really care about her. You never know why. You never find out why. And she's like looking at him, like you know, she wants to fuck. She's looking at him, like saying, "Could you turn down this? Could you leave this? Don't you want this around?" And she's like really hot, and she's standing there in her bra and panties. She's like, "Man, let's fuck." And he's like, "Um, uh, see you in the morning, honey." See you tomorrow. I'm like, un fucking believable. That is so stupid. That is the biggest load of bullshit I have ever seen. But anyway, <laughs> then you got Brandon Fletcher's character who loves to fuck, and him and his girlfriend are getting ready to fuck. And he's right underneath there, and they're getting ready to fuck. She's ripping off her clothes and everything. She's like grinding right on his dick, and he somehow falls asleep because of that. I'm like, 
there is no man alive that I've ever seen that could fall asleep when a hot chick is grinding on his dick while she's stripping. Who the fuck could fall asleep in this situation? But anyway, he falls asleep, and then the girl, Brandon Fletcher's girlfriend, hears a strange noise. We get a jump scare from the leprechaun. You hardly ever get to see what the leprechaun looks like in this. They try to make it scarier by showing little bits and pieces of him, but every time they show him, the camera like shakes around. It's like he's looking around like that. You can't ever see the motherfucker's face. Um, and every now and then you get more glimpses of him. He just looks like a generic monster. And then once in a while, when you get a more clear shot of the the look of him, you can tell it's just like a little shitty monster suit. Um, so I guess they played their cards right in not showing him too much, or at least not in clear enough view. One thing leads to a fucking another. Um, Brandon, Brandon Fletcher's girlfriend is sitting in front of the fireplace. The leprechaun sticks his hand out there, rips her gold earring out of her ear. Decent scene, enjoyable. Um, he starts chasing them in the house. They get into this room. The, le uh, the leprechaun busts in there. They knock a bed over on top of him, and then they run out and leave. And I'm like, they knocked the bed right over on top of the creature, this little tiny creature. All four of them of these big grown people could have just fucking leaped on top of the mattress and squished his fucking guts out. And that'd been the end of the story. Five minutes into the movie, he's dead. Well, not five minutes, obviously. They could have fucking killed him right there. That don't make no fucking sense. <laughs> I hate shit like that. But anyway... So they run off like dumb shits. The leprechaun bites Brandon Fletcher's le fucking leg. Uh, so he's like wounded like the Kevin Bacon 2.0 guy was in the first one. So he's hobbling around. They manage to make it out of the cabin. He falls down and they all run off and leave him. And Brandon Fletcher's own fucking girlfriend runs off and leaves him. And she sees him. She doesn't even come back. So I'm like, why do I even give a shit about her? And the black hearted girl's boyfriend sees him too and still runs off and leaves him. So why do I give a fuck about him? He doesn't care about his girlfriend. He doesn't care about his friends. Who gives a fuck about this guy? Brandon Fletcher's girlfriend doesn't even care about the guy she's supposed to love. Why do I give a fuck about her? The black hearted girl's the only one that comes back to help him. <laughs> so, so they're the only two I give a fuck about. They make it out of there. They make it into this other house. They're held, they're held up in there. Um, the guy does the voice of Optimus Primal from Beast Wars, and the guy from Freddy vs. the guy from Freddy vs. Jason basically. He shows up there with his son, and this other dude, and they're like looking for him, and they've escaped from the cabin, so they go to the other house, which was nearby. So they're in there, and Brandon Fletcher and all of them manage to get these weapons. The guy's son goes down into the basement where they're at, and but he won't shoot them or nothing because he's the only one with the decency. Um, Freddy, I'll just call the guy Freddy vs. Jason. Freddy vs. Jason walks down there. Um, he then he gets ready to blow him away, I guess. Or no, he gets ready to lead the leprechaun down there and let the leprechaun eat him or something. But uh, the leprechaun shows up and, uh, and kills the other guy that was with Freddy vs. Jason. Freddy vs. Jason, his son. So he kills the other guy. So basically, the kids manage to make it out. Um, you find out the other guy was like rammed down on some farm equipment. It's okay looking scene here. And then, uh, but you don't see how he dies. The leprechaun, like, charges at him after he's been rammed down on the farm equipment. So you don't get to see how he gets finished off. And I'm like, lame? Uh, one thing leads to another. They manage to get away. <clears throat> they manage to get away. The main group does, the four of them. But they get picked up by this old lady on the side of the road who's, like, from the town. And you know, right then and there, that this motherfucker cannot be trusted. This old lady cannot be trusted. If you'd seen two horror movies, fucking know she can't be trusted. Obviously, almost everybody in the town is in on it. You know this girl cannot be trusted. This old lady can't. They get right in the car with her. and they, She takes them right back to uh, Freddy vs. Jason and his son. Takes them right back to them two. And fucking, uh, they start duking it out with them, but they get knocked. One thing. They start duking it out with them, and the old 80-year-old lady knocks the black-haired girl out. And I'm like, an eighty, like an eighty-year-old woman or sixty-something-year-old woman, knocks uh, the black-haired girl out. I'm sorry, and I don't think I can't buy like a seventy-something-looking-year-old woman or a six, late sixty-year-old woman knocking anybody out. I can't really buy that. I, at least not in this movie. So you get that. Um, they all get tied up. Leprechaun shows up there. 
He starts cutting on him. Well, he's well. He rips out the uh, Brandon Fletcher's girlfriend's uh, tongue ring, which is another okay scene. Um, and then Brandon Fletcher's like telling the leprechaun to get the fuck away from this woman. Yeah, sorry about that little jump cut right there. Somebody was at the door. But anyway, back to it. They got everybody tied up. Brandon Fletcher, uh, the leprechaun, comes over and cuts him. Cuts his like his guts, but claw marks on it. Decent scene. It cuts the ropes too, though. Brandon Fletcher gets loose. Uh, he lets his girlfriend loose. The the girlfriend gets the other people loose. Gets the other two loose. Uh, Brandon Fletcher uh, gets the leprechaun to come to him. While the leprechaun's killing him, he sacrificing himself so the other three can get away. But instead, the leprechaun's like sitting right there killing them, and the girls got a they got like axes in their hands and machetes in their hands, and all they gotta do is hit the leprechaun right in the back right there and just start slicing him all the pieces in the back, and he's dead. But they don't. They just run away. I can. I that's it. I I hate the movie from this point on. It's, it's any goodwill it may have had, it's killed it right there. But anyway, so uh, after that, they managed to make it out of there. Um, they try to set a trap for the leprechaun. They want one person to like stay outside for some reason. I don't know why. I don't get that. But whatever. The leprechaun shows up. He, the one person that stays outside is the dude. Sorry about that again. There was another person at the door. Sorry about that cut again. But anyway, I have a lot of visitors today. I have a lot of visitors today. But anyway, just to jump back into it here. Um, so one thing leads to another. They make it back to the house. You know, the Brandon Fletcher's girlfriend was like waiting outside for the. I don't know why she was doing that. The leprechaun comes through the chimney or whatever it comes to, or uh, comes in the house again, sneaks in. And he puts, like, the, they got a trap for him. They got a piece of gold hanging there. And they're going to, like, fucking chop him in the head with the axe. But the leprechaun puts Brandon Fletcher's girlfriend in his place. And they accidentally axe her in the head. Okay, scene. Nothing amazing. Um, the girl's boyfriend gets attacked by the leprechaun next. But you don't give a shit because his character's not likable. Uh, the leprechaun rips his spine out. I give the movie, like, at least one and a half star for this. Because I was glad this guy died. Um, the Freddy vs. Jason guy and his son make it back there. Um, the, they end up getting in a fight because the son doesn't want to hurt anybody. The dad falls down the stairs. The Freddy vs. Jason guy gets attacked by the shitter con, the shitty version of the leprechaun. And you don't even see it. And he's like the most hated character in the movie. He's more hated. He, you hate him more in the movie than you do the leprechaun, honestly. At least I did. And you don't even get to see him die. You don't even get to see the dude's death scene. Um, and you don't see what happens to the son. I guess he survives. The leprechaun just doesn't bother with him. Instead, it starts going after the black haired girl, the last one left. She manages to make it out in the vehicle. She starts driving off. She's driving off in like a, the Freddy vs. Jason guy's truck. The leprechaun is on top of it, beating the shit out of it. She hits the brakes. He goes flying off. I guess he's wounded. Uh, the vehicle, of course, uh, is smoking, so I guess it overheated or something. It doesn't work anymore, obviously. <laughs> she gets out of the truck, starts walking off into the weeds. She thinks that if she can make it back to like these Celtic rocks or whatever, make it by him or whatever, that the leprechaun can't follow her past them. But earlier in the movie, you had the guy, like from Freddy vs. Jason, saying that if we don't sacrifice the, these people to the leprechaun, that uh, he'll start killing the people in the town again or something like that. So he would have to be able to kill the people in the town. Um, I mean, he would have to be able to pass by the magic stones in order to kill the people in the town, unless the people in the town are so fucking stupid that they keep going back into the uh, hills over and over. Even though they know there's leprechauns in the hills. But anyway, she makes it out there. She finds like this, um, she finds this weapon, this blade that belonged to a previous victim, I believe. The leprechaun shows up there. She throws some gold coins in the air and she says, fuck you, lucky charms, and slices his head off. Uh, okay, head slice scene. Uh, but her saying, fuck you, lucky charms, uh, is not warranted. It, it feels out of place in this movie. It doesn't feel like it needs to be there. It feels like it's just thrown in as a callback to the first movie. Uh, but it doesn't fit at all with the tone of this movie or with the style of this movie. And also, this movie sucks. Um, so the Leprechaun's dead. She makes it over to the ruined stones or Celtic stones or whatever. She's standing there. And then all at once, you start hearing uh, two or three little noises. And you see, like, these little trails in the grass. And she starts running off. And that's the end of the movie. It just stops. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? Well, I guess it was supposed to be other Leprechauns coming after out in the weeds. But you don't even see them. You just see, like, the, the trails going through the grass. And I'm like, okay, what the fuck? But anyway, whatever. That was stupid. A dumbass way to end it. 
It, it doesn't even end. It's like the movie just stops. I know WWE is wanting to make six of these, so I guess they're wanting to pick up from where this one left off with the same girl, I guess. I don't know. God, I hope not. I would like it better if each movie was like an individual leprechaun story with a different tone and a different style. Uh, I'd be more forgiving if they were like that, but you, I don't even give a shit, really, honestly, what the next Leprechaun movie is going to be like because this one sucks so bad. And if it's a direct sequel to this one, count me out. I might still watch it anyway, just out of morbid curiosity because I can't help it. This movie sucks. I give it half a star. Um, it's got one or two okay little gore scenes, but it's nothing to write home about. Uh, for a low-budget B-movie about a killer leprechaun that's not even a leprechaun, could have just been anything, It's it sucks. It sucks. I give it a half a star. Don't watch it. I'd say don't watch it if you're a fan of the Warwick Davis leprechaun because you're not going to get any of that here. You're not even going to get a leprechaun here. Don't bother with this movie, and I can't wait to move on to Evil Dead. So I'll see you guys again with my next review.